We're trying to transform the body in a very certain way and to use that new machine in accordance with that transformation. We transform it in a certain way so it's efficient at working a certain way. That's why a certain transformation is not suitable for using your body in another way. Now there's a bit of a trend at the moment of people trying to work out their art and pretend that their art is internal or make it internal by using the Tai Chi you know, method into an external art. It's okay, they will get better. But it will never be correct. Just like if you put a Lamborghini engine in a VW, yeah, it will be faster, but eventually it will just destroy the VW or whatever. It's, not gonna, it's never going to compete with a Lambo. Right? The engine must suit the gearbox, it must suit the body, it, there's a whole process that must work together. So when you move in a certain way, it creates shape. It's not that you do a shape and then you put in a certain engine. This is the misunderstanding. Yep. The shape is generated via the kind of movement. You don't do a shape and then put a certain kind of movement inside. It, it can't work like that. Because it will... This certain engine makes you move in a certain way. Yep. So, I mean, before I did Tai Chi Chuan, I was a mantis guy. And it's very in front and closed and the round back and this sort of way you move and everything. It's a great style. But if I put Tai Chi in it, right, this palm strike and knife hand would end up looking like it's just not mantis anymore. It ca you cannot integrate the two because the engine is different. There's a certain way to move that makes a certain power for a certain art. And if you use a different engine, it totally changes the way you move. So this is why, you know, we talk about chop suey, right? We, most of you that are in the Kung Fu world would have heard the term chop suey. When, certainly in the West, if you go to a Chinese restaurant, they have something on the menu called chop suey. Do you all know about that? It, maybe it's only in America and Australia. So what chop suey is, is all the leftover crap from last night stir fried up and sold for cheap. It's, a, it's not a real dish, that's what it is. And that's the term we use to describe when people pick a bit from here, put a bit from here from different styles and try to make something. The mixing, it's just leftover crap sold for cheap, chop suey. It's not an authentic dish. You don't get the real flavor of the art. You won't get what you want. So this is why you have to follow a system, okay? A system. I'm not talking about just a style. It's not about style. It's about systematic transformation, right? You must follow systematic transformation that builds one strata at a time. If you build in the wrong order, you don't develop correctly. If you build one thing excessively at the cost of something else which is meant to balance that, you don't develop correctly. Each thing must be trained at the right time. It's not just a matter of what is the right training, right? Because everyone wants the secrets, right? It's the right secret at the right time. At the wrong time, it doesn't bear fruit. It's like baking or something. The ingredients have to work together. If one ingredient is missing, right, it changes it completely. If you put an ingredient that doesn't belong in there, it changes it completely. Now, once you've done that, it's very hard to undo. What do you do with that cake that you put too much chili powder in, right? It doesn't matter how much sugar, what you try, it's very difficult to fix. This is why following a system that's proven to produce results is so vital. Do we understand that? Now, the modern mind the, is prone to thinking 
that it's smart, uh, this kind of intellectual vanity, which is the characteristic of our time, thinks, I can work it out, right? You can't work it out. You can't work it out. Sorry. We have to let go of that arrogance and be humble enough to realize you can't work it out. No one can work it out. These systems are the culmination of many great minds over a long time, hundreds of years. It's not somebody's bright idea. Yep. And they happen because you train and you understand and you embody something. So therefore you've become a different kind of machine. Now, that kind of machine is capable of doing the next strata of work. If you haven't embodied that, you're the wrong kind of machine. The next strata of work will produce the wrong result. Yep. The right thing at the right time, the right machine or animal doing the right thing at the right time. This is so important. With that in mind, some people come over and ask me, you know, I talk about earth level and the man level and where I talk about my system. And usually I don't go into too much about what you're not up to. It's not really my style. But we'll just go through an overview of, of this system. Okay? For those of you that are absorbed into the system, it, it will let you know what's coming and give you a bit of a holographic overview of how it functions. And it's important to understand how a system works. It's not just an accumulation of forms and exercises. There must be sequence. And the sequence needs purpose. It is purpose that defines us, right? You need purpose. It's not just randomly put together things because they're interesting. Each thing builds upon the thing before it.